Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, we are going to see how we can design a fast adder, and that is going to be a carry look ahead adder. First, using a system very log program, and then using a VHDL program. So, carry look ahead adder is faster than the carry ripple adder because in the case of carry ripple adder, we have to wait for the carry from each previous state, and that we can calculate the carry of next bits but in the case of carry look ahead adder we can calculate the carry input to each bit in advance and we can use some equations in order to do that you can study some theory related to this adder here in this video i am going to show you just the implementation according to those equations how we can do that in these two languages so carry look ahead adder we can make at first level from four bits and then at the second level we can make it for 16 bits and we can use this first level four bit adder by cascading it twice to make a eight bit adder or we can use a two level 16 bit adder and we can combine two 16-bit adders in cascade manner to get a 32-bit carry look ahead adder as well so this is a system very log program first and in which we have defined a module which is showing here level one adder carry look ahead adder four bits so it has this s output which is going to be four bits then carry out one bit then a b2 inputs four bits and then carry input to the first stage and then we have this c3 carry this we are going to need because we are going to make our adder which is going to give us our overflow bit as well later so that's why these two outputs we have defined here and then we have defined these two wires and here this first c one two three bits we are going to use to get our carries to calculate the carries of our each stage of our four bit adder and then we are going to use this wire to define our g and p g is actually carry generate and p is actually carry propagate and these are going to be four bits as well and after that we are going to use some formulas from this theory so gi is going to be ai and bi g0 a0 and b0 same like this so we are going to calculate our g's four bits using this and and then we are going to calculate our p's four bits using this xor of two inputs and we are going to get these two signals so after that we are going to use this c1 carry equation like this from theory which is going to use this carry input from our first stage to calculate the carry for our second stage this is going to be the carry input to our zero bit and this is going to be the carry for our one bit so we are going to use this g0 which we are going to get from here p0 we are which we are going to get from here and this equation we are making this here then we are going to calculate this c2 carry which from theory we can see We get from this equation g1 p1 c1 same equation we are going to use here and then c3 we are going to get like this and then finally the carry of our fourth bit carry output from our fourth bit is going to be our carry output of this module c out so this c out is actually c4 so this equation we are going to use and after that we are going to calculate the sum of our least significant bit like this 
it is going to use this formula s0 is going to be p0 x or p0 c0 in this case is going to be ci carry in so that's why we are going to use the ci here p0 here and after that next three bits of some signal s we are going to calculate like this p3 to 1 x or p3 to 1 these three carries carry 1 carry 2 carry 3 like this and after that we are going to assign this c3 carry from here to this c3 signal so that we can have this carry which we are going to use later to calculate our overflow value okay so this is the complete design of our this first level carry look ahead adder and this adder now we are going to use to design our carry look ahead 8 bit adder so this is our now module adder and this has output 8 bit sum and then 1 bit carry out this is overflow bit this is a input this is b input both are of eight bits and this is carry in which is going to be one bit here we have defined all these input and outputs and later we are going to define these three wires which we are going to use here and this is going to be a structural design approach that's why we are calling this previous module in this main module here level one adder carry look ahead four bit and we are going to calculate the least significant four bits of our sum using these inputs like this so we are going to get the c3 from here this is our carry in these are least significant bits of our two inputs like this this is going to be our carry out c4 which we are going to use here as input and then we are going to calculate this c7 as well and the most significant four bits of our sum like this this is going to give us our carry out and after that we are going to calculate our overflow bit like this as well so c out xor with c7 this one that's why we are going to design this like this so now our design is complete okay i have compiled this code already now i am going to show you its test bench so test bench actually has this one test bench name is test bench and we are going to define our inputs as reg and outputs as wire and here we are going to call this main module adder 8 and we are going to map our these inputs and outputs to this module like this using positioning and in this initial block we are going to give first of all our three inputs like this values and then later we are going to use this for loop and inside this for loop we are going to use this random function to change our values to our three inputs like this and then here we are going to end this for loop and later we are going to use these three input values as well to give to our inputs like this this is the complete design of our test bench so now let's go here and simulate this program so that we can understand its behavior as well Let's drag all these input and output signals to this wave window and run simulation. And we are going to see the output like this. So these are our A and B inputs. This is our carry input, and this is sum according to these. 
and then carry output and then overflow it is going to behave like this so remember these waveforms we are going to later change this program and see whether our input is same or not and outputs so this level one carry look ahead adder which we are using here to get our 8 bit carry look ahead adder we can change it a bit as well if you are going to see these two lines this and and xor this is just a half adder so half adder usually has this xor of two inputs and then and of two inputs like this so instead of using these two lines we can convert this design to a structural design as well so we are going to use here and half adder and half adder we can define as a module like this outside as well so half adder it has two outputs sem and carry two inputs a and b and then we are going to use this xor to get our sum and and to get our carry output so this module we can use here call here and we can calculate all these four bits of our p and g p is going to give us our sum g is going to give us our this and or carry okay so this is one example of structural design here and instead of this line we can use here structural design as well so this generate along with this for loop we can use and here since we are using a xor so what we can do is we can define another module outside this module as well so this module is xor one bit it has one output two inputs and then we are going to do the XOR of two inputs and assign it to output. So this module we can use here in this generate this XOR one like this. So SIPICI this one. So we are going to get these three bits from here using the structural design approach as well right and we can use the structural design approach more in this design as well but i am not going to do that i am going to just show you here we can also use that xor to use this structural design approach right so same way you can figure out in this program at how many places we can actually use this structural design approach so let's compile this program again and see our output is going to be same or not according to the inputs and this so we are going to see the same input and accordingly the same output combinations here so this is the way we can design a 8 bit carry look head adder using a 4 bit level 1 carry look head adder using cascading and now let's flip over to our bhdl project and I am going to show you how we can do the same using the BHDL programming. So now this is the design file of our BHDL program. And here we have defined an entity which has this name adder, carry look ahead four bit so we have this sum as four bit output 
carry as one bit p and b2 inputs as four bit carry input and then this c3 we are going to get as output as well because we want to use this c3 along with c out to calculate our overflow bit and later in this architecture what we are going to do is we are going to define first of all these three signals this is carry signal which we are going to use to calculate our carries of each bit and then this two signals g and p carry generate and carry propagate and now in this begin block we are going to calculate first the four bits of our carry generate signal using this ending and then the carry propagates four bits using this xor of two inputs a and b same approach after that we are going to calculate these carries of each stage c1 c2 c3 using these equations like this this is c4 which is going to be our c out as well using this equation and after that we are going to calculate the least significant bit of our sum using this p0 x or ci using this equation and later using this equation we are going to calculate this next three bits of our sum most significant bits of our sum like this using this most significant bits of our p and these carries which we are going to calculate from here using these equations and later we are going to assign this c3 carry to this c3 output like this so this is our complete design of our four bit carry look ahead adder now we are going to use this four bit carry look ahead adder we are going to cascade two of these four bit adders to get our one eight bit carry look ahead adder so this is our entity main entity of our adder it has some carry out overflow bit to inputs and carry input then we have this architecture and in which we are going to call this adder as a component this four bit carry look ahead adder like this and later we are going to use this component to implement the structural design of our this 8-bit carry look ahead adder now we have defined here three signals and these signals we are also going to use here in this begin block and then in this begin block we are going to call this component adder carry look ahead 4 bit and we are going to use your port map to map all the inputs and output signals like this so first four bits least significant bits of our sum we are going to calculate using this and then we are going to call here again this adder and next most significant four bits of our sum we are going to calculate using these inputs and here we are going to calculate our c7 carry out as well which we are going to use here later using this x or we can calculate our overflow bit as well so i have already compiled this code now i am going to show you its test bench as well test bench is also on the same pattern so in the test bench this is the entity test bench architecture in this architecture we are going to call this adder 8 as a component and then we are going to define these signals so that we can use these signals to map our inputs and outputs so in this begin block we are going to call this entity adder main entity and then we are going to use this port map keyword to map all the input and output signals using these signals and then in the process block 
what we are going to do is we are going to set up first the value of these three inputs like this and then we are going to wait for 10 nanoseconds and then we are going to give these random values to our three inputs and we are going to try different combinations and here we are using here one to assign our ci input value and then we are going to assign this zero to our ci input like this so that we can try all these combinations this is our complete test bench now let's simulate this go to test bench simulate go to this wave window drag these signals from the simulation and we are going to see the same waveforms the output waveforms according to these inputs like this now let's close this simulation and now at the last i am going to show you how we can design even this 4 bit first level carry look ahead adder using the structural design so what we are going to do is we are going to see here again these two code lines are nothing but a half adder so we are going to skip out these lines we are going to include a half adder like this to our design entity half adder this is the way we can calculate our sum and then the carry using the and and then in this main program we can call this component this is our half adder and this half adder we can use to calculate this p and g using the structural design approach so this is again a for loop with generate and we are using here half adder and we are mapping the inputs and outputs like this this sum is going to be the sum is going to give us our p signal this so sum we get from xor and then the gi we can put in the place of c because carry we get from the end in a half adder so this way we can use this half adder to calculate our generate and propagate signals like this again we can skip out this line this xor and we can implement the structural design approach here as well so here we are going to use a one bit xor gate and we are going to map its inputs and outputs like this as well so some bits we are going to calculate using this p and carry input bits like this this line we are going to implement using these three lines and this xor1 entity we can define outside our main entity like this so this is output which is the xor of two inputs right and in the main design entity we can call this x or as a component as well and comment these lines 
and we can even implement our structural design approach here as well because this is also an XOR and we can use the entity which is XOR one bit here as well but now I am going to not do that here right now compile this go here simulate Save window, drag these signals here and run this simulation and we can see the same input and output combinations of these waveforms. So this is the way actually we can design this faster adder, carry look ahead adder using system Verilog and VHDL programming languages. So thank you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have fun.